Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, welcome to Mass for You at Home on this 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Wherever you are, on whichever device you're watching, let us now enter this time of prayer by acknowledging the presence of God and acknowledging that we don't always live in His love and His light. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us and make us holy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory, glory to, God to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope and charity and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Tell the sons of Israel this, you must not molest the stranger or oppress him, for you lived as strangers in the land of Egypt. You must not be harsh with the widow or with the orphan. If you are harsh with them, they will surely cry out to me, and be sure I shall hear their cry. My anger will flare, and I shall kill you with the sword. Your own wives will be widows, your own children orphans. If you lend money to any of my people, to any poor man among you, you must not play the usurer with him. You must not demand interest from him. If you take another's cloak as a pledge, you must give it back to him before sunset. It is all the covering he has. It is the cloak he wraps his body in. What else would he sleep in? If he cries to me, I will listen, for I am full of pity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My rock 
It's the rock where I take refuge My shield, my mighty help My stronghold I love you, Lord I love you, Lord I love you, Lord My strength The Lord is worthy saves me. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. My strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. You observed the sort of life we lived when we were with you, which was for your instruction, and you were led to become imitators of us and of the Lord. And it was with the joy of the Holy Spirit that you took the gospel in spite of the great opposition all around you. This has made you the great example to all believers in Macedonia and Achaia, since it was from you that the word of the Lord started to spread. And not only throughout Macedonia and Achaia, for the news of your faith in God has spread everywhere. We do not need to tell other people about it. Other people tell us how we started the work among you, how you broke with idolatry when you were converted to God and became servants of the real living God, and how you are now waiting for Jesus, his son, whom he raised from the dead, to come from heaven to save us from the retribution which is coming. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together, and to disconcert him, one of them put a question Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. When I was growing up, I remember getting the impression that when we look at the Old Testament, we've got kind of this nasty God and weird, confusing sacrifices and all these laws and whatever. And then we've got the New Testament and then we have Jesus and we have all this niceness and love. And that's pretty broad strokes, but that's the impression I got. We've kind of, we're grown ups now, we've moved beyond the Old Testament and we really therefore don't need to pay attention to it. Some people today call themselves red letter Christians and boast about how they only pay attention to, if you like, the red-letter text of the scriptures, that is, the words of Jesus himself. And to that mind, all the rest of that is just kind of commentary. But when we actually sit down and read the red-letter text, the words of Jesus, they often point us back to the black-letter text of the Old Testament. And when we read that, like the portion of Exodus that we see from today, and we get through, we sift a bit through some of the language, we see that it's all the same God. Scripture is an interconnected whole, which reveals to us the heart of a God who is radically concerned 
for the well-being of the vulnerable. And I'm not sure as a society we have grown up beyond that call. Let's look at our bit from Exodus today. Don't be put off by the, my anger will flare and I'll kill you with a sword. Look beneath it. Look beneath it. What is it saying? It's saying, don't hurt people who can't defend themselves. Don't look at foreigners whose family and friends are far away or, or don't look at people who aren't part of the official tribe. Don't look at widows who are desperate for money or children who don't have protectors. Don't look at them and try and take advantage of them. Don't do it. I love them and I care about them. And yes, they may not be part of the official tribe of Israel, but they are my people too. That's what it's saying. How does our society measure up if we use this standard? Don't be harsh to widows and orphans. Have we grown out of that? Don't take advantage of people who need money and a loan. Don't charge them interest. Do we do that? If you're holding something as a guarantee of a debt, as a surety that someone's going to give you money back, do you give it back when they need it? How do we do that? Jesus' own words today do not cancel out the Old Testament, but continue its timeless message. Not a list of don'ts, but two simple do's. Love God with everything you are and love your neighbor, those around you, as yourself. That is not the original teaching of Christ. They are direct quotes from Deuteronomy and from Leviticus. The same God who inspired those texts centuries before entered human flesh and was the only way to live that fully, the only one to live it fully. Let us too, conscious of the cost that it sometimes imposes on us, instead choose to follow him even to the cross and to the resurrection, living that life of love, allowing the spirit to flow through us and conscious that in the end, love is the only thing that wins. Let us now together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is our fortress and our strength. Let us bring all of our needs before the God who saves us. That the church's life and mission will be built on God's law of love. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. That nations will show compassion for strangers and refugees. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who counsel and care for others will be richly blessed for their work. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick in our Mass for You at Home community will hold fast to the Lord who is their strength. In your mercy. Lord, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, you are a refuge for the poor and helpless. Hear our prayers and place in our hearts the desire to live your commandment of love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh God, we give ourselves today with this pure host to Thee, the same gift which Thou
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Brian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, so that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope that whatever today brings you, you may allow the Spirit to flow through you, so that you may indeed, like Christ, love one another as he has taught us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by Cath News, your daily Catholic news service. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascord. Thank you for your generous support for Mass for You at Home. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry. May God continue to bless us all as we seek to follow Him.